because you don't need me to pot. What was that for? What was that? That was for Eagle. <laughs> All right, folks, welcome back to our 80,000 subscriber special. Never thought we would uh, say no. that, but we're doing something a little bit different. You guys know that we love to find stuff at garage sales, flea markets, basically anywhere that we can find uh, expensive golf clubs for cheap. But today we're doing something a little bit different. We are actually playing with the most expensive golf clubs that we have ever bought before. Some PXGs, it's actually a full set of PXG irons, the 0211s, and then we have a 0311 54 degree gap wedge, and then under there, mm -hmm. we also have a uh, PXG putter, the PXG branded. And we're nice. gonna be playing uh, a little golf here today, obviously, because yeah. we are out here at the golf course. <laughs> we are playing at Cranes Lake, and it is a uh, awesome little golf course. Yeah. I think it's like a par 66, and we thought we would have some fun, come out with the most expensive golf clubs that we have ever bought, we're gonna do a little bit different. We're gonna kind of play like a modified alternate shot. Mm -hmm. Ashley's gonna be hitting all of my tee shots on the par fours and par fives to keep things interesting. And then I will be playing in with all the PXG stuff. And then once we get to the green, you know we have to uh, use the uh, world's greatest putter skill. So we're gonna do a little scramble once we get to the green. And I'm gonna try and convince Ashley to hit some of the uh, PXG irons. She was a little- I'm hesitant. <laughs> yeah, but those things are cast. You can literally like hit a rock with, uh, unless you hit a rock with them or throw them off the cart path. So now I'm gonna hit a rock with them. <laughs> yeah, we'll hit a rock on the uh, sandiest soil ever. We're about two miles away from the ocean, but yeah. it should be fun. I don't know, we'll, I think that it's like par 33. So if we uh, break, I don't know, 40? That'd be awesome. We'll have a little uh, treat at the end. But if you yeah. guys have watched our specials before, when we like pass 70 or 80,000 mm -hmm. subscribers or something like that, you guys know what's gonna happen, so stay tuned for that. Yes. But uh, let's get started here. The first hole is about 280 yards, a sharp dog leg to the right. And last mm -hmm. time we played here, Ashley smashed her driver into the water. So I'm so. going with not driver this Yeah, time. you're going with the uh, five hybrid? Probably, I've been hitting this really well. Yeah, but uh, let's see what we can uh, shoot today. Hopefully breaking 40. Hopefully. That is perfect. Right down the middle. Much better than the water. <laughs> well, not gonna lie, I was pretty nervous hitting that shot. Everybody at the driving range was watching me, but we're in a much better position than we were last time. I think we've got, how much? About 130? 135 yards. I'm gonna go with the pitching wedge. Yes. Oh, nice shot. Oh, it's in the air forever. Yeah. I forgot that those uh, had the uh, Project X LZ shafts in there, so it's definitely a higher ball flight than I was uh, used to when I first I hit it. Go in the road. Yeah, I was uh, about to yell four to some uh, oncoming traffic there, but it ended up perfect. We got about 15 feet. We're gonna both go with the uh, PXC Brandon putter, and out of all the clubs that we bought, this is definitely the uh, best looking one. We'll go over how much we spent and everything yeah. at the end, but uh, this is probably yes, uh, my yes. favorite looking one of those, like a traditional ping answer style, but Pretty color. Pretty color. It's got like a gunmetal <laughs> finish, gunmetal shaft, and it's got a blacked out uh, pin grip. So mm -hmm. hopefully we can make some putts with it. It doesn't matter what it looks like. You can't make any putts. <laughs> so close. All right, world's greatest putter's got to help us out here. <laughs> world's greatest putter. Ah, we both basically left it a little bit short. A little warm up. <laughs> yeah, that is a good looking putter. What is not good looking? Well, actually, it's a good looking hole, but yes. it looks intimidating. We're gonna have to carry a bunch of water. It plays about 200 yards. I think I'm gonna go with the uh, PXG six iron. Cool. I don't really have to say PXG. That's all we have. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> <It was> six iron. <laughs> solid par to start us off. Yeah. The tee box was moved up a little bit today, so it was actually only about 180 yards. So I went with like kind of like a cut into the winds with the uh, seven iron. That thing just like went right through the uh, wind. Yeah. I gotta say, the only thing I don't like so far are those grips. They're they're not. I don't know. They're a they're a little slippery. So mm -hmm. maybe if you're uh, getting some PXG irons, I would opt for uh, one of their premium grips, which I think you can get for free if you get like upgraded grips or shafts or something you like that. Kind of customize something, right? Yeah, you can get custom fit over the phone instead of like in person. I don't know. I'll let you interpret what that means, but uh, I think we got about 25 or 30 feet. Let's see if we can't uh, roll in a birdie here. Like a triple breaker. I know, there's water both ways. <laughs> That's the way it breaks. <laughs> Nice putt. Well, I think I might have my new putter. Yeah. Well, if John keeps playing like that, he won't even need me. Uh, world's greatest putter. We're definitely going to uh, need her here in a little bit. But that's still a nice putt. Yeah. <laughs> still a little speechless over that yes. one. But the, uh, we're going to need your tee shot here. It is a oh, yes. par four. It is 
262 yards. So if you put one out there, good, we'll have another wedge left in. Sounds good. And then the uh, next par three is super long, so I'll be able to hit a uh, long iron in there. Yeah, switch it up. Switch it up. Oh, it's crushed. Dig it. Good shot. Well, better than the last time I played this hole. I put John behind a tree. This time he's just out of the rough. We'll let you know the distance as soon as we get up there. Thanks for not putting me behind the tree. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> All right, it is 120 exactly. So John tells me he's going up with a three quarters pitching wedge. Squirrel. Squirrel. You got distracted by the squirrel. That is about as far away from the <laughs> hole as you could possibly get. And still be on the green. <laughs> well, I think my alignment or something was off, or that was just a terrible swing, but that is, uh, like Ashley said, about as far away as you could possibly get all by uh, still being on the green. That was English, but uh, kind, of. kind of. Squirrel, basically, is what the moral of the story is. Yeah, I got distracted by a squirrel, as I often do. We got about a 60-footer. And if I make this putt, you can count on us for the giveaway that we hinted at in the beginning, not being the putter. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's looking really good. Come on, keep going. Well, you got pace down. Well, that's a tap in for Ashley so she can go after the long one. <laughs> cool. I gotta say, I like the feel of the putter. Uh -huh, and so. it looks good, so. And I made a putt with it, so. <laughs> kind of like it. <laughs> oh, that is looking good for line. Is it good for pace? We've got well, it surrounded. <laughs> we've got it surrounded. I think we can tap in one of those and move on to the uh, longer par three mm -hmm. with a bunch of carry over water. Yeah. We haven't. Uh, I yeah, haven't mentioned that there's a lot of water. Covered by water. Covered by water. <laughs> Just like the planet. Yes. <laughs> Earth is my planet. Alright, you got that. <laughs> Squirrel. Earth is my planet. That's what you guys came here for. Oh. Alright, we got 170 yards. John's going with a 7 iron and that pin is right in the front. Looking kind of questionable. Rolling in the water. <laughs> I think there's a swale there. Yeah. Well, I'm not sure if that actually went in the bunker. There's a little swale there on the green. This is only my third time playing here, and I have not hit it in that location, but now, you have. now I have. But feel wise, not the softest irons, kind of like a, uh, a ping cast club, if you ask me, but definitely a pretty good ball flight. And oh, we're, uh, yeah, we're just deep in the green. We're behind that little hill, so there was a swale. Like, yeah. you said. like I said, I knew what we're, I knew where it went. <laughs> All right, super tricky putt here. We got to go through about four feet of fringe. Going to kick off of that hill, then break back at the end and downhill the whole way. Ashley's going first too. It's too complicated for me. Well, that kicked way off the hill, but it looks pretty good for a line. Oh, that's way downhill. And we got about a ten footer there. Hopefully, I can put it within inside of that because I ain't making that. <laughs> Oh, wow. That's looking good. Much yeah, better kinda, speed than me. <laughs> yeah, kind of jumped in the fringe, but I think we can make that. Mm -hmm. Also, that was like a minute and a half long uh, car horn. Did you hear that? Yeah, that was impressive. That was impressive. Must Somebody was mad. very upset. Am I go first? Sure. Okay. Boop. <laughs> oh, all right, Ashley's teeing off next, so I think it's a par five. Cool. Nature. This course is really pretty. This next hole, the uh, oh, there's more nature. Oh, I got distracted. We got some sand hill cranes. <laughs> but the uh, next hole is 352 yard par five. Doesn't sound very long, but I think we'll have a long iron left in, mm -hmm. hopefully for uh, our second shot and our third shot. But there's some sand hill cranes as well. It's wide open for my shot. Yeah, just water to the left and some houses to the right. <laughs> no big deal. Oh, stay out of that bunker. Carry, carry it. Oh, nice. <laughs> we have to get back to Ashley's famous uh, bunker hole yes. where she could carry it because if you can carry that, I think yeah, you're well on I your way. <laughs> nice shot. Well, I was definitely holding my breath on that one. We didn't carry the bunker, but we didn't make it to the fairway, so we're in the rough. But that's John's problem up here, but better than the bunker. I think we got about 200, and that lie is not looking very good. We got about 220. But I, I don't really mind if we're in the bunkers in front of the green, so I'm just gonna still go for it. Yeah. Probably go with the F4 and we'll get it probably, close. We'll probably end up short. Oh. Roll. Keep rolling. Roll. 
Well, that thing came out of the rough like a knuckleball. It got like 10 feet off the ground, but it rolled forever. Yeah. Bermuda grass, it doesn't have to be very long for it. Very unpredictable. Yeah, it's unpredictable. Comment below your least favorite rough or whatever is the- uh, Which rough is the roughest? Which rough is the roughest? There you go. <laughs> which rough is the roughest? Comment below. But uh, this is, eh, it's like a pitch shot. Yeah. But if I don't hit it good, we'll uh, say that we're putting scramble and Ashley will go with the putter. You go. <laughs> You'll see what I'm back talking about. Options. Yeah, back, we have to have options here. You'll see what I'm talking about here in a second. You don't need me to putt. What was that for? What was that? That was for Eagle. <laughs> We're three under. This is called all the birds back there. That's yeah, why. Yeah, we got all the birds on the nature of this hole. I hate <laughs> chipping like that. If you see, I took a bunch of uh, yeah. practice uh, swings there because it's into the grain, but I caught that one perfectly. Yes, you did. <laughs> Definitely in the honeymoon stage of these irons. We're going to do a what's in the, uh, well, this is the wedge. We're going to do a what's in the bag here one of these days. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if PXG is going to be in there, but they're making a strong case. Uh huh. Don't pick that up so people believe what Yeah, we're exactly. Doing. Proof. I hate chipping into the grain. That was. I wasn't expecting that. I thought it was going to stop like six like inches before, but then yeah. it just kept rolling. Usually I'll try and play those with 60s and I'll get it like it'll dig into the ground. That's why I took a bunch of practice strokes. Mm -hmm. But that with the uh, 54, it rolled out really good. Here we go. Proof. Thumbnail. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, next hole is a par three. I forget how long it is. Actually, the, the uh, next hole, I hit the trees off of the uh, tee box and fell short of the uh, red tees. So. Yeah, I witnessed that one. Not a lot of good vibes going into that <laughs> one. We're going to change our luck. Yeah. Three under. That's <laughs> pretty crazy. Crazy. All right, like I said, not a lot of good vibes on this hole, or at least good memories. I don't even know what the word vibe means anywhere. It's, people use it all the time, but 170 yards. We've got trees overhanging on the left, which I've mentioned that I've hit. Yep. The pin is in the back, super like three-tiered green, big bunker to the right. I feel like the, uh, I don't want to jinx it, but... I think the uh, wheels are going to come off uh, the wagon on this one because we are playing. Yeah. The club's over. <laughs> All right, 174 yards, kind of into the wind, pin in the back. I'll let you know if I go with seven or six. <laughs> I'm nervous now. I know. <laughs> you got this. I avoided the trees. It looks like you avoided oh. the bunker. Is it over? No, it's over the bunker. I don't know where it is. We'll let you know. Well, Johnny managed to avoid the trees, but we're not actually sure if he avoided the bunker. Uh, I think we, I don't know. It's not in the bunker, but well, so yeah. we'll report back to where it is. Whenever we find it. Yeah, maybe we'll have to chip in again. Yeah, yeah we're off the green over yep. the back. We went with the six iron instead of the seven. Mm, the seven was probably the right one. <laughs> <laughs> Decision making, not my <laughs> spot. Anything landed just on the fringe? Yeah, I think so. A little bit uphill and like a foot on the green, maybe. Okay. That worked. Yeah, that was not what I was trying to do. <laughs> yeah, I got that. Oh, let's go see if I can tap that one in. <laughs> okay. We're world's greatest putter. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, well, you didn't get. We didn't get to see that much on the last hole. We'll get hey. you to tap that one in. Ooh. Uh oh. World's greatest putter is gonna put the pressure on me. I know. I saw that there was dirt on the ball. I should have picked it up. Oh, that's my bad. There we go. My bad. I got distracted when I putted. <laughs> yeah. Dirt will throw you off. But yep. uh, I don't remember what the next hole is, but we'll meet you there. Cool. All right, not the uh, strongest par there, but we are still three under. The next hole is a 202 yard par four from Ashley's Tees. Also, Crane Lakes. I said Crane's Lakes at the uh, beginning. <laughs> the Cranes own this uh, golf course, but if you're uh, just starting out or maybe you like don't hit the ball as far as you used to, this course is so much fun. I played out here with my dad and he was having an absolute blast. There's not you like. Play faster, you yeah, you can sure. play a lot faster and there's not a lot of like forced carries or anything like that. It's just mm -hmm. a lot of fun playing out here. Not paid or anything like that they don't even know that we film out here nope. but uh, 202 yards should have a driver and a wedge there you go there we go oh, you want to hit the uh, you want to hit one of the pxgs <laughs> come what? on do it do it say she All has right. to in the comments and you uh, have to even though this is being filled before you i'm going it. to say that you already said it so let's yeah, try well, let's go four <laughs> and off the deck okay. well off a tee yeah <laughs> yes, you get what i'm saying oh carry 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 
Nice! I'm just happy we're not in the water. <laughs> <laughs> nice shot. Well, I'm not gonna lie, I was super nervous hitting, so I'm just happy it wasn't in the water, but I can't really give you a good description of how it felt. But we're not in the water, and the hole's only like 200 yards, so John should be able to reach from wherever I landed. Yeah. We get to go out of the fun Bermuda rough again. Yay! Where are we? We're, we're 120 yards, and I think the ball is... Somewhere. <laughs> Somewhere. <laughs> Hidden here. Yeah, the rough is only like two inches, we're having to look at oh, the ball. Oh, man. I'm not there setting you. Look at that. That thing's buried. Wow. That's going to be a flyer for sure. At least we're not in the water. Yeah. <laughs> That's a good shot though. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. Go. Go. Smile. Wow. No bounce. Keep going. <laughs> it looked like it was going to go, but I think it's way short. Yeah. But, Is your uh, elbow okay though? Yeah, I need to uh, eat the spinach, get some Popeye or a Paul Casey forearm going. All right, we are just short of the green, which is uh, kind of where I was hoping that we would end up because usually when you're in that super uh, thick rough, the uh, club tends to uh, turn over, like the face turns over and pulls it. And we would have ended up in the water if that had happened. So can't complain. No. We got about probably about 20 feet and it's breaking to the left. It's in a little bit of a bowl. Mm -hmm. If you're in the fairway, you could probably spin it back and there's a, a good chance of an eagle. Know that for next time. I'll do that. Yeah, I'll try and uh, do that for you guys next time. But let's see if we can't knock this in for birdie. Mm -hmm. Go four under. It's been pretty intense. Yeah, I don't know if the clubs have anything to do with it, but we've been playing pretty well. It's gonna break like a foot and a half. Ooh, Doesn't aggressive. <laughs> we should be able to make that. Oh yeah. We'll go for it. Oh, I got caught up in the fringe. And... <laughs> <laughs> Did you see that? <laughs> We gotta keep the, all of these things rolling. No one's gonna believe any of them. No. All right, it's gonna be a tough uh, decision which club to uh, give away yeah. here. But uh, yeah, we'll, we'll figure out the details on that here in a second. Mm -hmm. Or under going into the last two holes. This was the seven and a half hole. Yeah, it's that. really cool. I think it's too far away, but it's funny. All right, next hole, bunch of water, par four. Let's see if we can't this. keep things rolling. I got nervous on that one. Yeah, the I know. Putter literally I'm got super nervous. Yeah, the putter got stuck in the fringe. Mm -hmm. Okay, worked out. Yeah, I gotta do that every time. There you go. Just get stuck in the fringe. It's key to everything. Well, that should be like the name of our podcast, Stuck in the Fringe. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine having to listen to us more than like 10 minutes? I don't even like listen to us every day. <laughs> Let me chip the next one. All right, next hole, 207 yards. Got to carry water on the tee shot. Yeah. On the second shot, there's, it's almost an island green. It's basically like a peninsula and you got to hit it over a uh, tree with your uh, second shot. So it's pretty nervous for me. I haven't actually played most of these holes. I've watched you, but this is the first time for me. So. Yeah, this is, I don't, I've never been so nervous just <laughs> playing for fun, but uh, 207 <laughs> yards, you would be going with the five hybrid. Probably. Yeah, I think if you, hit, if you hit driver, you'll go through. Yeah, we don't want that. Give us a chance. Yeah, five hybrid. we got to think these things through. <laughs> Decision making, not my strong point. <laughs> Crushed. Stay short of the tree. Please. All right, we're good. We're good. Whew. I don't know what it is about this club, but I hit it really well. Oh yeah, the uh, Adams idea was a five hybrid. Mm -hmm. We picked that up at a Play It Again Sports thing. It was like six or seven bucks. Yep. Best six or seven bucks we've ever spent. <laughs> Best six or seven dollars we've ever spent besides Waffle House. Much. Also, we're reviewing the most expensive clubs <laughs> and we're raving about Ashley's $5 out of business uh, hybrid. Nothing new here. Nothing new here, but uh, excellent shot. Thank you. Now I can go screw it up. <laughs> All right, we got some more nature for you guys here. The GoPro doesn't zoom, so we're gonna have to get a little close. Comment below what kind of bird this is. It's not a flamingo. It's pink though. I don't know what it is. Nature. He is not a fan. Ashley's just shaking her head back there. Huh. I was afraid of Chunky. Look at this yes. dude's divot. That thing got me scared that it was wet under there, but it's all uh, dried out, so. I don't know what that has to do with anything, but I'll fix nervous. his divot too. Yes, pretty much. <laughs> Ashley up first to go Five under. I don't think we'd ever thought I would say that. Oh, go, 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 go. Oh, I thought that was going to be short. That was a really good putt. Yeah. Huh. 
Also, this is super pretty here. You got the uh, ninth hole right there. Or the last time I played here, I had a tin cup moment with my dad. <laughs> yes, you did. I think I hit three balls in the water, so I tried to avoid thinking about that. Yep. But also super pretty. You got a ball? Yeah. No, I got a ball. You got a ball. The nerves on this round of tents. Intense. Great commentary, as usual. Sign me up, NBC. <laughs> Okay, thank you. I'll trust you with that one. <laughs> Alright, let's go avoid a tin cup moment on the next hole. Yep. Well, it could be interesting. Good content. <laughs> content creation. <laughs> Almost drove us off the uh, bridge there before we got to the last hole, but like I said, let's see if we can avoid a tin cup moment here. 150 yards. But if you Maybe look at, <laughs> but if uh, you look at it, kind of looks like the uh, 12th at Augusta yeah. on the A main corner. So yeah, avoid that. your nerves came in. <laughs> yeah, avoid a tin cup moment or a uh, Jordan Spieth. No offense, to Jordan Spieth, one yeah. of my favorite players, but that was that was intense to watch. 150 yards. Whew. But uh, hope this. hopefully you guys have liked this video. We said we were going to do a giveaway, so if you made it this far. Mm -hmm. And yeah, yeah, if we still film the rest of it, because if I don't throw all these clubs in the water after going four under and then hitting yes. a ball in the water in the last hole. But uh, comment below the craziest place that you have ever found golf clubs, because yeah. you guys know we find stuff all over the place. Auctions, flea markets, we bought some at a fruit stand yep. once. <laughs> Just the craziest places, but comment the craziest place that you have ever found golf clubs and that will enter you in. Mm -hmm. We're going to give away the wedge. Yes. Uh, but yeah, we'll still give away the wedge, but you'll have a choice because we do do budget stuff mm -hmm. And one of our biggest videos ever was the uh, Kirkland signature wedges and we have another set of those So yeah. if you want to win a PXG wedge so one wedge versus three. three Yeah, I like the PXG wedge and I like the Kirkland signature mm -hmm. wedges I might like the Kirkland signature wedges a little bit better and it is three so I mean yeah Whichever one you want. But I just chipped in for eagle with these so <laughs> you guys get to decide you will be the winner All you have to do is like the video be a subscriber and comment below craziest place you've ever found golf clubs I'm just delaying as long as possible Pretty so much. My nerves calm down a little bit. Hopefully. But also, thank you again for the 80,000 subscribers. That's... Yeah, we've got off track. This is supposed to be like a weird review of like expensive clubs. I don't think we've ever been this nervous playing before. Yeah, we never shoot well, so it's not really a thing. But the, uh, we'll do a little review now while we're uh, at it. But the uh, yeah. PXG putter, one of the best looking putters yes. that I've ever seen. The uh, finish and everything looks super high quality. A lot of times, like the gunmetal will wear out, mm -hmm. and uh, it doesn't look like that's going to be the uh, case with no. those ones. The shaft is really cool. It's got the uh, pin grip. The irons, I've hit them pretty good, but they, I honestly don't like the feel of them and they've got a super long face so like from the toe to the uh, heel it's super long it's kind of weird looking behind the uh, ball it doesn't inspire confidence yeah. like you, you think it would higher in the air than i'm used to you hitting too, yeah so i don't actually know where it's going to land i'm absolutely in love with the irons that i play right now so yes. anything if it's going to beat them it's got to be something special yeah. the nike pro combo or nike vapor pro away. combo my oh yeah <laughs> well, people have seen them in my bag for like yes. six months so those really matter and then the wedge i really do like it's yes. got a, a nice feel a lot of the uh, wedges these days are cast because people are worried about them wearing down they don't want to like replace their wedge like mm. every other round but if you've like if you're playing pxc you probably have a pretty good budget so nice. i highly recommend the uh, wedges and then the uh, putter i've hit the driver before and it's really good but those actually aren't that expensive anymore they've come way down in price yeah, they have. i think you can get like their newest one for like 2.99 or something like that mm -hmm. so second hand i think the market is getting a lot better too. yeah the irons are still pretty expensive those are the most expensive of the clubs that we bought mm -hmm. this is getting way too long let's just finish this 154 yards are your nerves calmed down a little yeah i forgot what we were doing <laughs> so i was just rambling yeah, yeah. what were we saying stuck in the fringe is our podcast there you go not happy because no, we'll just rough? stuck in the fringe oh there you go we don't already remember. Forgotten. Already forgotten, but let's see what we could do here. I'm going with seven iron, like oh, three geez. three quarters, 154 yards, because I'm not coming up in the water. That doesn't inspire tin cup confidence, but... Tin, I don't think you want tin cup Well, you want his confidence, but... You don't want it with a seven iron. Yeah. It's all going to be good. Oh, yeah, because he plays with only a seven. This is way too long. Squirrel. <laughs> Probably about two too many clubs, but we're <laughs> over, so we're good. Oh, I standing over the ball, I'm like, it's 150 yards. Why did I take a seven iron? You know, like, <laughs> my, my backswing was like shorter than John Robbs. We went over by just a little bit, but hopefully we can get it up and down. We didn't go in the water, so, yeah. well, we haven't gone in the water yet, I should say. <laughs> but let's, awesome. let's see if we can't end this uh, out strong, mm -hmm. if my words can still come out correctly. Oh, that's actually not that bad. We should be able to get that up and down. Cool. Whew. 
There's a lot of threes on the scorecard. It's making me nervous. <laughs> Get in the hole. I think we can make this from there. <laughs> Hope you guys did like this video. If you did, hit that like button and subscribe. And we'll see you next time. See you next time, guys. Thanks for watching. Ashley hitting the foreign. That was chip in for eagle. Whew, that was a fun round. That was a lot of fun. We'll uh, show you uh, making this putt like overlay it from us yeah. talking. But hopefully you guys did like this video. Tons of fun. Thank you guys for 80,000 subscribers. We'll get Ashley to wave. There we go. Full wave. <laughs> See you next Full time, wave. Guys. Thank you guys for all the support. It's been so much fun doing these yeah. videos. You guys have changed our lives. We were just, I don't know what we were doing before we were doing YouTube, but this yeah. has been an absolute blast. A fun ride for sure. Yeah. Let's uh, keep things rolling here mm -hmm. and uh, maybe we'll get to 90,000. We'll get my dad back out and have some fun. Yes. But, always uh, fun when he's around. Yes. Always fun. But, uh, <sighs> Calm down, but we'll show you this spot. Yeah, Proof. Ashley will make it. Yeah. You don't have to worry about that. More nature. Boom. Thanks for watching. <laughs> See you guys.